So I'm using Word 2010 here and this works the same on the 2013 version and on other Office products such as Excel, PowerPoint and Access. So what I want to do is customise my ribbon. The ribbon here is very handy, it's broken down into tabs such as Insert, Page Layout, References and Word and in other products such as Excel you'll have different tabs across the top here. They all have the home one, they all have the file one. But you might have things that you use very regularly and you want to set up, say, your own tab. So you can put your own buttons in there and I could call it, say, Gary's tab or something like that. So it could be that you like inserting comments, page layout, and you don't want to be clicking around. You might like changing the orientation. So just how do we do this? Well, we just need to go into File here. Choose Options. And you'll see down here there's an option for customize ribbon. So if I click here, here's a list of the commands that are available and they're filtered. At the moment it's showing me the popular commands at the top. And if I click there I can choose to show commands not in the ribbon, all commands, and you can see macros which is something that I mentioned a moment ago. I have none in here, things that are on the file tab and so on. So one of the other reasons you might want to customize the ribbon is there may actually be commands not on any of those tabs and they're only available here and you want to take those and put them onto somewhere in the ribbon. So over here is actually the ribbon. So it's showing me the main tabs. You can see the tool tabs. These are the ones that are specific. So like if you insert a picture, it then comes up with say the drawing tools or somewhere down here, there may be picture tools. There we are. But I'm just going to go back to main tabs. You've got all tabs as well. So let's say I wanted to take a look at one of my tabs here to see how they're constructed. So here's the view tab. So you'll see here that each one of them is broken up into a group. So just to get an idea of this, let's just go back for a second because here's view and here's the group. Document views, show, zoom, window and so on. So going back to my customize ribbon, you can now see those groups are here and if I click on this plus sign, it expands to show them. Now all of these are set. You can see they're greyed out, I can't change them. This one here though, I could go into that document views and remove the group. Maybe not such a good idea, but if there's something you really, really don't use, you can just get rid of it. If you ever want to reset any of this because you've made a complete mess of it, down the bottom here, you can choose reset, reset all customizations, which takes you back to what it was like when you first got Word, Excel, or whatever it happens to be that you're using. But I always think it's a good idea to set up a new tab. So I'm going to set up a new tab here. I'm going to click new tab. You'll notice it's put it in here where I clicked. I was highlighting here blog post and it's put it above it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the name of my tab. So I'm just going to right click and choose rename. And I'm going to call this Gary's tab. You don't have to put the word tab in. Click OK and it automatically puts in one group. Again, I could right click and choose rename and I could actually change it there to say something like favorites. Okay, you can choose a picture as well, but I'm just going to click on OK. So I can add in more groups. If I click on new group, it puts another one below it. So I can now rename that one as well. If I can right click on it and choose rename and I could call this one, say, comments, and click on OK. You can move them around. You just simply have to click and drag wherever that line goes. It goes with it, so you can move those around. Again, you can click on it. You can right click. You can remove it. By the way, rename is also down here as a button as well. OK, so I've got my favorites. So I'm looking at popular commands here. And I'm thinking, well, actually, there's some things here new. Creating a new document. is I don't actually like it up here on the quick access toolbar, so I'm going to put it into my favorites. All I have to do is click on Add, and there it is right there. So let's say I also like opening as well. I like that. Something I want handy. Click on that, and it goes over here. Again, I can just click and drag to move them around. You could even move them into a different group if you like. So it's just a simple case of moving them around like that. So for comments, I just click on the comments group, new comments. 
click on add. Now some people will think that you can just click and drag to move it across and guess what you can. So that's a nice easy way of doing it. it saves you having to click and then click another button. Here's previous. So again, I can click on add or click and drag it across. So you can see now you've got your own tabs. One thing is, is you may not want it there. You may say want it up here after home. So I click and drag it up to there. Click on OK. Guess what? There's a new tab there and it's got all the things that I like right there on the tab. And it's now always there on your computer. I think this is really useful. So once again, you go into file options. There's the customized ribbon. If I want to, I could put it down at the end. I could just click and drag that down here. So the last one happens to be developer. So click on OK and you'll see that Gary's tab is now here. So you can now fully customize this so that whenever you're working, you can easily go to them. You know, there's some things as well that you use infrequently and you think, oh, where is it? But it's one of those favorites that I like and you can just put them in here. By the way, you can see there's the names of the groups that we had down the bottom. So that is how you can customize your ribbon